Okay, you guys, so the number one thing that happens in a woman's shower, I can't believe I'm sharing this on the internet. Oh my God. Take 942. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome to today's video. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be spilling all of the tea when it comes to what actually goes down inside a prison shower in the female prisons. Like, whoo, you guys. Have I seen some stuff? But before we get started, I just want to say that I'm not glorifying or glamorizing going to jail or prison. There's nothing cool, fun, or funny about it. It is my hope that sharing these stories will be able to deter you guys from making the same mistakes I made. Prison is a terrible place. It's a terrible, dark, lonely place, and it is not working in case you haven't heard. So I'm going to make an entire video on why the war on drugs is not working, why incarceration is not working, and all of my opinions and two cents will be thrown in that video, as well as facts and data and statistics and all of that, so stay tuned for that. But for today's video, prison showers, the female edition. Y'all ready for this? All right, let's just go ahead and get started. So there are two kinds of showers in prisons. This is both for men and women. There is an open shower with a bunch of shower heads that everyone has to go in at the same time and you're all naked together and there's one shower curtain. Then there are also individual showers in certain units with individual like shower curtains in these showers. I have seen both, I have been in both, I have dealt with both. Uh, yeah, so let's just get the most awkward question out of the way because this is like the most common prison myth and a lot of people say this when you're going to prison and it just gets thrown around a lot as a joke. So let me just clear that up. Let's get the awkwardness out of the way. Well, just kidding. This entire video is going to be awkward. So you know the saying, don't drop the soap, like girl, you better watch out. Don't you drop that soap. You better watch out. Listen, let me tell y'all right now what happens if you drop the soap in prison. Are, are y'all ready? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happens when you drop this open prison. Only one thing really goes down. That is, you cannot use that again. Okay? Don't do it. Do not pick up that soap and try to use it. I don't care if it's your last bar. You better hustle up another one because, let me tell y'all, a prison shower is the most disgusting place. It is like, I can't even... Okay, so they do clean the showers. And we're going to get into the, the stuff. Just hold on. I have to explain this. They do clean the showers. And by they, there is a porter in the barracks, someone that is assigned to clean the showers. Um, you guys. Ugh. So they take this mop and they put it in cleaner that is like so watered down. It's not even really cleaner. And they use the same mop in every shower. And like, you're just Ugh, it's disgusting. I can't even explain it, but it smells so gross. It is so gross. They're not washed very often. I think they might get thrown into the washer. I worked in laundry too, and I don't even remember. It's been a minute. So the mops just don't, it's not a high priority to clean the mops. It's not a high priority to get solid cleaner. It's not a high priority for, for like, you can't have bleach or anything. That's just not a high priority. You know what I mean? For, for anyone but me who's dying. So so there are two very specific rules when you are showering in prison. Number one, do not go in that shower with your bare feet. Do not do it. You have to wear shower shoes because it is disgusting in there. Like I said, it's not cleaned properly. There's no bleach. There's no chemicals. Inmates do not have access to cleaning supplies the way that you think cleaning supplies are supposed to be like used. Like the standard is just not, is very, very low. Chemicals are not easily accessible because there have been inmates that have abused that and used chemicals for other things, but that's not what this video is about today. So different video for a different time. Back to prison showers. There's just two rules. Number one, you have to wear shower shoes. Number two, if you drop soap, throw it away. Let it go, bro. Soap does not clean itself. There's going to be bacteria on it, hair on it. Like throw it out. If you can even stomach picking it up off the floor, if I'm being honest, like I've dropped soap before and I haven't even wanted to pick it up to throw it out. Like that's how gross it is. So yeah. What happens when you drop the soap? You throw it in the trash can. <laughs> okay, you guys. So the number one thing that happens in a woman's shower, <sighs> I can't believe I'm sharing this on the internet. Oh my God. <laughs> so there's really just no easy way to just say it. So I'm just going to have to say it. Okay, so women are having sex in the shower. Now, in the last prison that I was at, which is McPherson Prison in Southern Arkansas, it is actually a sex crime if you have sex or if you're caught having sex with another inmate. So if two inmates are in a relationship and they're having sex, it's not like free will. You are property of the state. 
So Arkansas will actually write you up for sexual misconduct, and if you get three sexual misconducts, they will hit you with a free world charge, and you will have to register as a sex offender for having sex with your girlfriend in prison. Yeah, so there's that. Um, anyway, there's a whole system to that. Like, usually if two women want to have sex with each other, you need a spotter because you're not supposed to be having sex in prison. Uh, yeah, so, but it definitely happens. <laughs> And it's really like, it's one of those things where it either happens really, really early in the morning so that a lot of people aren't in the shower or it happens like at the end and end. And the last prison that I was at, they actually locked the showers. So you couldn't just go in the shower whenever you wanted to. So they would open the showers at like four or five o'clock in the morning. Like there was this whole like gate by the showers and the officer would have to come in and unlock it and move the gate so that you can get in the showers. So I've seen that. Um, in program barracks, it's a little bit different, whatever, but so yeah, they lock you out of the showers so that you cannot get in them whenever you want to. So I've definitely seen women having sex and officers will walk by and kind of look under to make sure there's not two feet in one stall. It, if it is an open bay shower, it's a little bit different. Uh, sometimes you just have to look away. Like if that is happening and there's other women in the shower, which is kind of rare, they try to like sneak off and be by themselves or have as much privacy as you can, but there's like no privacy in prison. So that's why women would do that really, really early in the morning. So there are two kinds of people that shower really early, early in the mornings, and that is lifers or girlfriends. So, and that's just my personal experience. If you had an experience in a different prison, like cool, but I'm just sharing what I have seen. So yeah, lifers, uh, or like really, really old, like senior citizens, they'll shower in the morning or girlfriends will shower in the morning. So definitely seen it. I've definitely walked in on it. And it's just a really awkward thing. Like, you know what I mean? Cause you're, <laughs> you just walk in with your shower, with your shower bag, you know, like your shampoo and your conditioner and your soap and your towel and your washcloth. You'd walk in like, oh, I'm take a shower. Whoa, holy cow. And it's just like, dang, my bad. Uh, so yeah, definitely happens. Number one thing that happens in a woman's shower is girlfriend time. So you're welcome. <laughs> Another really crazy thing that I've seen go, go down in a woman's shower is women that come back from visitation, if they have contraband up inside of them that they got on the visitation floor, more often than not, they can get it out themselves just in a stall in the bathroom and they're good to go with their contraband. Use your imagination. Uh, but <laughs> sometimes they have a hard time getting it out. And I've seen this so much. I've seen it so much, you guys. So if the woman can't get it out of her purse, um, she'll have to wait until the showers are open. And I've actually like heard this going on in stalls next to me so many times. Uh, it's actually like a really scary thing for a female to be doing that because, and I'm sorry if this is like TMI or graphic, guys, just click off this video. <laughs> just, click, just click off this video. Um, but yeah, the contraband or anything you put up inside of you, if you're a female and you put it in your purse, ew, please refer to my prison slang video. I will leave it on the card. Uh, but anyway, it can get stuck in the lining of your uterus if it is up too far and that is dangerous. You have to go to the doctor and you have to get it out. It's a whole thing and women are so afraid to do that. Now, when men put contraband in their suitcase, that happens, it gets stuck, but eventually because it is in your intestine, your, you know, I don't know, small, large, it's up in your, it's in your butt. We're talking about butt drugs, okay? But eventually your bowels will move and it will come out. But for a female, if it gets stuck on the lining of your uterus, you have to go to a doctor. And I've seen women just really, really, really afraid, really afraid of, you know, you can't just go to the cop and say, hey, uh, I have contraband up there I can't get it out you know what I mean so it's dangerous it's awful it's terrible I would not recommend doing that uh, especially if you're a woman I mean it's gross either way let's be real but if you're a woman I would not recommend that because it's just dangerous another thing that I have seen in a shower is fights now if something is about to pop off and you're in an open bay dorm and you can't get to a cell, you have to go to the bathroom. You have to get out of the view of the cameras because if you just start punching on each other in the day room, you're, they're gonna come in, they're gonna pepper spray you, they're gonna take you to SAG, or they're gonna come in and just, it's, it's not a good time. It hurts, it sucks. They're gonna come in and beat you down, rip you apart and drag you to SAG. So so yeah, usually it's like, let, let's take it to the shower. Let's take it to the shower. So I've, I've heard that, I've heard that pop off. You know, you wanna be out, out of the view of the camera. So anything that you're doing that is illegal, or against the rules of that prison is done in the showers, is done in the bathroom so that the cops don't see it, so it's not on the camera so that you don't go to SAG. 
Um, in the last place that I was in, I actually saw women trading commissary. You guys, like, in Arkansas prisons, they will lock you up for everything. I know New York does this too, to, um, but it's not as bad in my past experience. It wasn't as bad just handing someone, you know, a soup or whatever. Cops didn't care as much. Now, it is still unauthorized exchange in New York is what it's called, but in Arkansas, it's called trafficking and trading. So if I just went to hand my homegirl a soup and the cops saw me do that, they could write me up for that. It is a minor disciplinary report, but you're going to lose privileges. You could lose phone, visit, commissary, everything. So, you know, another thing that I see go down in, or I saw go down in showers was the exchange of commissary, just basic shit, like coffee or soup or whatever. Like a girl would take something to the to the bathroom or to the shower and leave it in there and then the girl that wanted it would go in and get it so you know i saw that go down a lot just just keep in mind every single thing that is against the prison rules is going down in the bathroom is going down anywhere where the cameras can't see you in the corner like in your cell but a lot of them are open dorms. I have lived in both. So anything that you want to get away with goes down in those showers. Something that I had to do in an Arkansas prison after I had my daughter is I had to, and now you're not allowed to touch another inmate. No one's allowed to touch you. Like it's this whole thing. Arkansas cops are crazy. They're on it. They're on it. They're on it, you guys. So in a maximum security prison in Arkansas, you can't braid someone else's hair because you're touching each other. I had a hard time threading eyebrows. So we'll get to that. So when I, after I had my daughter, I had to have one of my friends help me take ACE bandages and wrap them around my boobs so that the milk would stop coming in. And I was in so much pain. I would literally be crying because it just, I can't even explain it. If you've had a kid, you know, like it just hurts. But then to keep them tight, 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 it was so hard. I even had to have one of my friends wash my hair in the shower. I would just like lean back and like hold my boobs so that the hot water wouldn't touch them. So yeah, another thing I had to do in a shower was have someone else wrap my boobs for me. And it was so excruciatingly painful, you guys. Like, I can't even explain the pain. So, yeah. <laughs> nothing is nothing is worth going to prison. Nothing. Like, it's awful. So, <laughs> zero, out of, zero out of ten on Yelp. Okay, so threading eyebrows. That was another hustle of mine. I would have to do that in the shower or I'd have to do that in the bathroom. And it is a lot more difficult if it's a single shower because the cops are looking for two feet or whatever, and they're going to automatically assume that you're having sex. So I would more often than not do it on the toilet. Girl would sit down on the toilet and I'd be doing her brows, but I'd have to like kneel down because in the, in the bathrooms in prison, if it's an open bay dorm, there is like stalls. It's like cement, but they only come up to like maybe here. So I was like kneeling down and like threading, you know what I mean? Like threading these eyebrows. So it was a process and I would thread eyebrows for so long that my hands would get cut because once someone knows that you have a skill or whatever, they're like, oh, please do my eyebrows in New York. Please do this, please do that. So I've been in and out of jails and prison a lot in my past. So I just knew how to do that. And that was kind of my number one hustle. Eyebrows matter. Eyebrows are really important to a girl's face. So I would be hustling and doing eyebrows for so long that my hands were literally cut open and bleeding. So yeah, hopefully I've been able to shed some light on what happens in a female prison shower. It's gross. Showers in prison are disgusting. And I will say this about the showers too. Not that I'm like complaining like about the shower. I just want you guys to see like and understand what a prison shower is like. The water is never hot. It's maybe lukewarm, if not cold. So when the water is cold, it burns your head and it's like painful to have ice cold water being poured on your head and you're trying to shower. The intake showers are always like really, really cold and like will fucking burn your scalp you guys like it hurts so bad um and in intake they give you light shampoo so you're trying to like desperately to get this freaking light shampoo out of your hair but you also want to get out of the water because it hurts so bad so yeah the, it's just like a trickle you know what i mean and there's always one shower that is like the prime time shower there's always there's always one shower that works better and that's a shower that people fight over like i've literally seen girls fighting over who's gonna get in that shower like Yep. Who's going to use that faucet? Who's going to use that salt? I need that shower. Like they will fight over it. If there is anything good in prison, whether it's food, whether it's a shower, a good phone, they will fight over it. They will fight over everything. Myself included. I've been in plenty of fights over the prison phone. So shower is a high commodity, even though for me at that time, 
I honestly didn't care. I knew the showers were gonna suck. I wasn't gonna fight someone over a shower. I'm like, just give me some lukewarm water. Like, I'm good. As long as I don't have to bird bath it, I'm completely content. And if you guys don't know what a bird bath is, it's this really disgusting thing you have to do in a cell with a tiny little square of soap because you're in segregation. They won't give you like shampoo or anything and like maybe a washcloth and you just have to wash the hot spots. Got a bird bath it. It's disgusting. I wouldn't recommend it. So <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully that sheds some light on what it's like to be in a shower in a woman's prison. I'm sorry if it was awkward, but it's just the truth, you know? Gotta keep it real. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay sober, do not break the law, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.